Kiki Palmer's baby father goes for the bag, full custody of her son and child support in her house. He Ooh. went off. They wasn't even married. I, I don't even know how he getting all this. Well, what did this come under? Child support? The house under child support? This nigga yeah. wants alimony for the child support. Hey, time to be completely hypocritical. Let's go. Hey, I'm all for it. Salute. Hey, yo, look. Hey, yo, look. I'm going to say the same shit. I don't got no problems. Yeah. Um, want, go for it. They want it all. Go I'm for gonna, it. I'm here, I'm here for all that. But in all seriousness, though, um, he came out and said, hey, a lot of people saying some shit. I ain't say nothing of that shit. I don't know what fuck y'all talking about. He say, "I want my baby back. I want my baby back, baby back." <laughs> I'm poor, nigga. I, I'm, she knew she could get away with that when she walked out the house with it. I don't know what I was thinking, tweet. I don't know what I was thinking. My bad. I I, I be tripping sometimes. It was a late night. The baby was crying. I ain't have a lot of sleep. You know how I get. You left me here with this child. You knew how I was gonna get. Is there a is there is there a such thing as is 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 current like placement? You know they got postpartum. Mm. Can I have current placement depression? <laughs> Dealing with this shit right now. Days yeah. when I'm fucked up a little bit. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We uh, first of all, postpartum depression. Is a real thing, and I don't want to make a joke. I don't make light of it. It's a thing. It is, but I don't think it's a thing because you are no longer pregnant and you have the baby. I think more of it is born out of this baby is here now, and this shit is hard. I don't even know. I don't even know if it's that because, I mean, you know it's hard before it starts. Like, you think it's hard before I've, it starts. I've, I've seen people who have that um, with all types of help, but it's just a hormonal shit that it's some hormonal shit. Like you just had, you've been two people for a long ass time, and now you just one motherfucker. And the part that people like the most is our is out. Let's keep it honest. Once, once, if you're pregnant, once you have the baby, you are no longer the main attraction. Oh, not at all. It's the baby. Yeah. And I'm not saying that that has anything to do with it. So um, before y'all run wild on us. You so, say what? So before y'all run wild on us. I didn't hear it one more time. He said, so you saying these hoes is cloud chasing? Oh, hoes be cloud chasing? Yeah, like a motherfucker. But but what I was, hey, but in but in 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 this context, what I was saying was, I think the postpartum is about not necessarily the baby being out of you. I think the postpartum is about the baby being here now and dealing with that and all of the 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 shock that that could bring into your life. So, my postulation is that a man that is the sole caregiver. Of a child could also experience postpartum depression and and do things that sh- could probably be attributed to that being outside of their character because they are in a more fragile mind state. I mean, it's not called postpartum; it's called birth more chosen by proxy. Wait, what? That's different. That's when you fucking the kid up. That's what postpartum in a man is. What? Yeah. Nah, fam. Why? Why postpartum in a man got to be fucking the kid up? I, I've only heard of Munchausen by proxy, also in uh, reference to women. I think it was originally discovered by from a woman. I think her name was uh, by proxy. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> by, pro- by, by proxy Munchausen, I think. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. You got, so, so she, she's like the Lou Gehrig's? By proxy Munchausen syndrome. Mm. Shout out to you, Miss uh, Munchausen. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, no clue where we were going with this. Not at all. Not at and all. Sh- shout out to us being uh, Jennifer Aniston out this bitch. Um, yeah. Hey, for the record, um, we know absolutely nothing about postpartum depression. At all. At all. It is what it is. We don't know shit about it. Uh, we just, I just have thoughts. I just have thoughts. I just have thoughts. And I just want to, I just want to say that, uh, Kiki Palmer's baby daddy might be going through it because new babies are colicky. And you got to by proxy. I wasn't no much out much much housing when you're doing something detrimental to the child. I wasn't that joking. No, that isn't what much housing by proxy is. It's not what is it? Much housing by proxy is just you taking care of something and you hate it. You sure? Yes, that's it. That's it. Okay. It's in the name by proxy. That ain't that ain't clear up nothing for me because I don't really know about what by proxy actually means. You know, someone else. Means- I got a I got a gist of it, right? But yeah, I, I, so you just emphasizing by pro, you don't do the, no, you don't do the same. Munchausen syndrome is when a woman beats up her kid. Munchausen right. by proxy is when anybody, any caregiver, hates what they caring for. Okay, so I thought like Munchausen by proxy is when you did the thing to someone else, and Munchausen. Is when you did it to yourself. Munchausen syndrome is when woman do it to her children. Munchausen is when the person who take care of that child, who may not be the mother, beats that little motherfucker up. Oh, so why isn't that called step Munchausen syndrome? Because it's called by proxy. Because you're not supposed to be the motherfucker that hates this little motherfucker. You're the proxy. (laughs) Damn. You're the proxy. I never heard. I ain't never heard of a motherfucker Munchausen somebody. Never heard of. Because it's called Munchausen syndrome, and then the what I'm talking about is Munchausen syndrome by proxy. It's just fucking English. It ain't another term. It ain't another syndrome. It's just English. Munchausen syndrome by proxy. This world don't work like you motherfuckers think it do. That wasn't a whole nother disease. That was telling you this person has Munchausen syndrome. By proxy, and y'all were well, his entire life. He's been thinking it's been a whole nother disease. No, by proxy, you got the same shit that bitch supposed to have, but you're not supposed to have it. It's like Braxton Hicks, right? Munchausen syndrome is a rare mental disorder where someone fakes illness to gain attention and sympathy. People with Munchausen syndrome may pretend to be ill or deliberately produce symptoms of illness in themselves. Their main intention is to assume the sick role so that people care for them and they are at the center of attention. Now, Munchausen by proxy is when you do that same shit, but say your kid's sick. That is nothing like what you described. Whipping ass? No, fam, it's very, very fucking clear. It ain't even a fucking thing, fam. It's just what it is. So I don't know what it is. Don't whip an ass. You can't. Ain't got nothing to do with none of this. <laughs> no, you're excluding it from it. <laughs> it ain't that, though, fam. At its core, it Munchausen it. syndrome is pretending you sick. Everywhere. And Munchausen by proxy is pretending your kid's sick. That's it. Look up the definition. I literally just did. <laughs> And we're off. I literally did. I didn't... Proxy is a psychological disorder marked by attention seeking behavior by a caregiver to those who are in their care. So that so that doesn't exclude abuse. We were talking about abuse, postpartum. I'm telling you what it is. No, I was, man, about, I was talking about postpartum depression. Exactly. Then you I feel told you bad what it about is it. In a man. Then we. It's right. mother child and by proxy in a man. A man can't have postpartum. So that's what this conversation is before y'all drag it way the fuck off target. 
I didn't think that was what I was doing. So because I use the terms whipping ass, that doesn't exclude what we're talking about. <laughs> I just focused on the kicking ass aspect of it. Because I, I don't mention the motherfucking hoops don't mean, because I'm talking about running up and down the court don't mean that's the only thing happening in basketball. I... I don't want to argue with you about some shit that we don't have a disagreement about. I don't know. We do, because y'all literally said that's not what I said. I don't know. I mean, I was just trying to like not have. Artistic, I was just trying to not extend the argument. I was just, I was just reading the definitions of shit. Because I didn't say all oh, ten fingers. I just named the thumb. So that's not what that's not what you said at all. Hey, yo, look. So I Munchausen syndrome is pretending you sick. So uh, Munchausen by proxy is a mental illness and a form of child abuse it occurs when a caretaker usually a mother makes up fake symptoms or causes real symptoms to make it look like a child is sick symptoms of msp munchausen syndrome by proxy include adding blood to the child's urine or stool withholding foods the child looks like they can't gain weight Heating up thermometers so it looks like the child has a fever. Making up lab results. Giving the child drugs to make the child throw up or have diarrhea. Infecting an intravenous line to make the child sick. So it can be child abuse or it could be just you making up shit about your child, which it also could be child abuse. Yes, it can extend to those ranges in which you are speaking. But could it, it could be as... Minimal is that's not what we're talking about. We talk okay, about cool. postpartum depression. <laughs> See, so we the minimal and all that goal movement, we don't have to do that. We're talking about postpartum depression. Men can't have it. When men have it, it's called Munchausen syndrome by proxy. That's the conversation we're having. What is postpartum depression? I don't know if you know I, I, I don't even want to have a conversation, we're gonna have it. Huh? A person who gave birth. Postpartum depression is a medical condition that can affect women after giving birth. It can cause strong feelings of sadness, anxiety, and tiredness that can last for a long time. These feelings can make it hard to take care of yourself and your baby. Postpartum depression is one of the three types of postpartum psychiatric illness. The other two are postpartum blues and postpartum psychosis. Those two things sound like the same thing as the first. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> post uh, you got postpartum blues, not depression. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, you got postpartum psychosis. <laughs> huh? Blues? Huh? Those ain't blues. Huh? Those ain't blues. These are the blues. <laughs> Wait, you mean you mean you mean my shit's not dun 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 a bull? <laughs> <laughs> That's all the blues versus depression means. I can't say my shit rhythmically. What the <laughs> right. fuck? I don't know. But hey, look, all I'm saying is that what it's saying is it's an it's a condition that that affect that can affect a woman after giving birth, and it just causes strong feelings of sadness, anxiety, and tiredness. And I think that those are things that you can attribute to a person postpartumly as not giving not being the not giving not being the birthing parent but having to do all of the things after the birthing that would weigh on an individual be bringing on about the sadness and the tiredness and all of that shit because you got to take care of this baby every waking moment and it gets depressing because now you are not allowed to take care of yourself because you can you realize your life is not about you anymore. And it may cause a feeling of anxiety or sadness or depression in individuals. And I'm saying that um, I think new ground here that a man could have postpartum depression. It's not new ground. It's called Munchausen syndrome by proxy. That is making up shit that is happening <laughs> by proxy they're saying that your child is sick. Postpartum depression is saying that I am fucked up 
because the kid is here. Not the kid is fucked up. Munchausen syndrome, maybe you can say that, saying that I'm fucked up when you're not really fucked up. But I'm trying to give it a, leg- a legitimacy by saying that it's an actual thing. I'm not saying that individuals are making it up. And I am full ten toes downedly supporting men and their struggles with child rearing when they are the primary caregiver of the children. Because that is what is born out of the things that make you tired are having to get up in the middle of the night and feed, change diapers, quiet a colicky baby back down. That should make you depressed. Front eight. Fuck with your psyche, not getting your sleep when you need it. 